Hey there, the Drell here, and I'm getting ready to do another reviewish video for you. Um, but before I do that, I wanted to talk to you really quick about a genre that I really don't like. The sports genre. Yeah. I hate sports games. They drive me nuts. It's this... Uh, besides being absolutely boring, you know, I'm more strategy than softball. I'm more RPG than rugby. What I can't stand the most is these constant releases. Look at this. FIFA 16. 16. It just seems like the same tired cash grab over and over again. These games with slightly better graphics for the new year. And yeah, can't stand them. I used to play soccer as a kid and I enjoyed it. And that's fine. But something about playing it on the PC just seems to remove the enjoyment out of it. It just seemed like there's nothing novel, nothing new. And I've been dying to play something, like a soccer game, for instance, that had a novel new approach. And I think I found it. At its heart, Rocket League is a mashup between two concepts, soccer and RC cars. Simple as that. It reinforces one of my biggest beliefs in game design. That simple design that you refine works best. And man, is this game refined. Basic game mode is your standard soccer. Three or four to a team trying to get the ball into the goal. Very straightforward, but from that formula you get a number of variations that expand on this concept. Snow Day turns the game into ice hockey. Hoops turns it into basketball. From that, you can add mutators, which add challenge and mix up the gameplay. Um, you can even change up the levels themselves. Some of the levels have different shapes to them. They have multi-tiered levels. They even have levels that loop around on them so that the goals are facing opposite of each other. And you can actually go through the goal to come out on the opponent's goal on the other side. This makes for great gameplay and immense amounts of fun. From the very first time you touch the ball, you see just how much control you have or control you don't have over it. The physics model is so accurate that your speed, direction, where you hit the ball, the way you're spinning when you hit the ball, even the shape of your vehicle can affect the path of the ball. The ability to control your vehicle is great. Uh, driving is fun. You can use boost jumps. You get a double jump in the game, which can actually affect your path in midair. And by using your rocket boost in different ways, it gives you a speed boost across the field. It gives you the ability to hit enemies with force, making them explode fantastically. And it also allows you to do aerial acrobatics, which will cause you to miss the ball more often than not. The ball is light and responsive, making every hit satisfying. It's so realistic that it's crazy, and I love it. There's immense amount of customizability, too. You can change everything about your car, the way it looks, the colors, paint jobs, textures, patterns, including the crates, which add to that. You also get um, toppers, antenna. You can change your rocket plume. Pretty much everything under the sun, making your RC car your own. And there's several different types of RC cars, which, as I said before, have different shapes and can actually affect how you play. If you go for the big van type one, you're bulkier and, and uh, you're more like a flying rectangle than a wedge like the uh, car that you start with. The game also looks amazing. Every single detail about it is fine, it's clean, it's very, very colorful. It just looks good. The detail that you see, even in the arenas, is amazing. You can spend hours just staring at all the little greebly bits out there in the middle of nowhere. It really looks good. I've been playing this game on and off for months, and it's become a staple game for me. It's something that I come back to sometimes when I just need my ego boosted, or if I just don't know what else to play. It is there. It's easy to hop into a game. I don't have to worry. If I want to just do one match, a match is like, you. ideally you'll spend 10 minutes to hop in, play a match, and get back out again. And that's not too bad. So if you don't have a lot of time, it's a great choice. And if you want to spend a lot of time, you can play matches all night. In fact, you probably will play matches all night. It's happened to me several times. Should you go pick up Rocket League today? Yes. Yes, you should. Absolutely. It's worth every penny. I would go out and buy it again if I had to, and I don't, but I will. I don't actually own this. It's a prop. I made it. 
see, it's it's Dune. Ah. There we go. Now I'm done.